Hey guys, today we're going to solve lead con number 343, integer break. So we're given a positive integer n, and we need to break it into the sum of at least two positive integers and maximize their product of those integers. So I'm going to walk you through the code and then tell you why this works and why this is optimal. So first of all, we have two edge cases that we will talk about later on. But basically, the main, the main body of our code is divide our n into addenda of value 3. So we divide our n by 3 to get the count of how many addenda of value 3 we can use to make up our n value, original value. And then we check the remainder. So the remainder is n modulo 3. So this could have 0 value or 1 or 2 because it's the remainder by 3. So it can't have any other value. So if the remainder with 3 is 0, then we'll just return the multiplication of all the addendum that we've broken up n into, which are all three addendums, okay? So we just elevate to the count three power three, because we have count three factors with all value three, okay? So what if instead of being zero, the multiplier is one, which is the other possible value? Then in that case, we can show, and we will prove it later on, that what is optimal is to use one less three instead of using count three of them. We need to use one less of them and add it up with the one to make a four and split up that four into two times two. So this will be what we do with the remainder, okay? And then we just return three to the power of count three, which might have been decreased here if multiplier was one, times multiplier. Sorry, just inserted the free by error. Okay, so I'm going to submit this just to show you that it works, first of all. And then we're going to go through why this solution works. So you can convince yourself pretty easily that what you want to do is basically to maximize the amount of factors that you use here. So one way to convince yourself of that is, let's say that there was one sum that adds up to n that contains an addenda, so a factor of our result, that is greater or equal than four. If that was the case, then you could replace that addenda with the factors two and the original addenda minus two. So the sum would be the same, so the solution would still be valid, but the product would be greater. So you never need any factor that is greater or equal to four. You only need the factors one, two, and three. And well, obviously the factor one is useless because it doesn't increase your result, so you want to use it only if you are forced to use it by the problem definition. And so these are the two cases in which you are forced to use a one as a part of your product that is the final result. So this is why we need to put them as edge cases. In all other cases, we only use the two and three factors for our result. Okay, so now you need to convince yourself of why we want to use the most three possibles instead of the value two. And the reason for that is, for example, if we need a sum of 6, then 6 can be achieved by doing 3 plus 3, or it, it can also be achieved by doing 2 plus 2 plus, plus 2. But 3 by 3, 3 multiplied by 3 is 9, and that's greater than 2 times 2 times 2, which is only 8. So what this means is that as soon as we are using 3 twos, then we need to not use them anymore and instead use a 6 divided in 3 times 3, okay? So you never want to use any more than 2 factors with value 2. So yeah, you just maximize the amount of 3 factors that you use and then you check if the remainder is 1, meaning that you could make up a 4. So this would be wasteful, right? We don't want to leave this alone. So in that case, what we do is we break it down into 2 times 2 by freeing up one of the threes that we were using before and pairing it up with this remainder of one. So one plus one three that we remove is four and we break it down into two factors of value two. So yeah, this is optimal because you're never going to use any more than two factors of value two because otherwise it would be better to instead use two factors of value three. Right, so that's it for today. Thank you and bye.